Every time's the first time. Anyway, these are the wheel and caster labs. What happens in these labs? Well, it's the kind of thing our grandchildren will be talking about long after we're gone. Now, when it comes to buying heavy duty casters, it's important to know what kind of tread material will best suit your specific needs. And that's going to require stepping into the wild, wonderful, and confusing world of heavy duty tread materials. But don't worry, we've used the power of science to break it down for you. First up, let's look at the mold on rubber. It's a durable tread, great for giving your load a cushioned ride over a smooth surface. It's not great with extreme weights or over rough terrain, but as long as you're indoors and not trying to move a small family of dinosaurus rex, works like a charm. <laughs> I don't have to tell you that. Next, the phenolic tread. This marvel of caster science will resist caustics, like acids and oils, is non-marking and non-conductive, making it a great option if your workspace is like ours, chock-a-block full of strange and mysterious electrical science machines. It can withstand temperatures of up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit without warping or weakening. Impressive. It is a hard tread, however, and making it run silently and without vibration is a bit beyond our current scientific capabilities. We may be brilliant and good-looking, but we're not perfect. Sorry. Now this here is a mold-on polyurethane tread. These are known for their excellent rollability and extremely long wear life, and even though they're astonishingly tough, they won't cut or chip your floors. They can cause some load vibration and they make a little noise, but in this economy, what doesn't? Finally, the semi-steels. The boys in the lab have taken to calling these the Schwarzeneggers. They have an unthinkably high weight capacity and can withstand temperatures of up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you need to push 10,000 pounds of pitchforks through hell, these are the wheels for you. They're very noisy, offer zero cushion for your load, and will cut soft floors to ribbons. I recommend using them only if you have an extremely heavy load moving across a smooth concrete floor. If this hasn't answered all your tread material questions, check out Wheel and Caster 101 at wheelandcaster.com. Or if you'd rather have some help from the geniuses at the lab, give us a call. Remember, we're here to keep you moving.